Welcome to the tutorial. Today we are going to be building a nice little A-class ship here. Uh, it's pretty fast and has plenty of firepower. To build this ship we're going to be going to the soul system and we want to go to Saturn and then Titan and then we want New Homestead. Let's take a quick tour of the ship here before we actually go down. This is a decent little two-man cockpit even though it should be three-man because it's got three seats but okay. Then from there we move into a computer core. Then over to the left here we have a living quarter which gives us two passenger slots. And on this side I went with captain's quarters. You could do a research lab, workshop, whatever you like. Alrighty and then here at the back is going to be our landing bay and docker all from one spot once there you're just going to want to talk to the ship technician got anything you need to offload trade authorities always lie kiosk right here for you sure how about it now we are going to build this little ship here uh, to start with, I almost always start out with my landing gear here. And for this one, we're using the NG6. Now, first thing we want to put on top of this is going to be our computer core. I'm going with the Nova Galactic here. Of course, you can use whatever, um, whatever habs you like. And the stairs here are going to go straight up here. So once I do that to make sure my stairs go all the way right through, even though this is only one level of stairs here, I always go ahead and put the docker in next. This will lock our stairwells in place. Then next to this, we are going to go with the Magellan C1X cockpit then we're going to want to go with the Nova Galactic Captains I went with that here you can do a workshop and uh, anything you like maybe infirmary on one side or workshop captain's quarters I went with captain's quarters and living quarters even though you kind of do need living quarters you won't have any passenger space. Then after those we're going to stick our landing gear place first. First we want the NG24 landing gear. Then on either side we're going to put in the NG20 landing gear wide. Go ahead and stick that at the back there. Then next item we're going to want to put in place is our cargo hold. And for this we're using the Galleon S204 cargo hold. Then on top of that we're going to want to stick the 500T helium tank. And then that gives us a nice little place to stick our shield. And for the shield, we are using the 60S protector. It comes in at 810. Then, to the back of the cargo hold, we are going to want to stick the R4000 Alpha Grav. Or any Grav Drive you want to use. Doesn't really matter. Then, uh... On top of that goes the Spheromac DC-202 reactor. 
Next thing we're going to do is place our engines. We're going to go with the White Dwarf 3030 engine. I've already got these stacked here. We're going to go with two on each side. Alrighty, then next up for grabs. are our little braking engines on the front here. These are just for looks. Um, I went with the Nova braking engine. You're going to want a port and a uh, aft or starboard. Now, what you could do instead is this is the Nova Cowling 2L SF. You could put one of those there and one of those there. They both look pretty decent, but I think this gives it just a little bit meaner of a look. So I went with the engine brakes. Okay. Then, next thing we're going to want to put in place... is one of these Nova Cowling 1L TFs. So this will be for the four. Then after that, we are going to want, let's go ahead and put our wings in place. So we're using the Nova Cowling 2L PF. Oops, I actually put that in the wrong place. You could do this and then do two of these or one of those and one of these going back the other way. But I don't like the way that gap looks right there between those two. So... For me, I like it better like that. And then we are going to do the same on this side. Next thing we're going to want to put in place is the... Whoops, sorry. This one is the Nova Cowling 2LPM. And then we're going to want the Nova Cowling... 2L TF and we're going to use two of those one there and one there and then behind that we're going to use the Nova Cowling 1L TA this is actually when you find it it will be the TF so you just uh, for me I'm using a controller so I use the Y button and like I say, we want two of those on either side. Now, all that's left is to fit it out with weapons. You can use whatever you like. Unfortunately, in A class, auto turrets are not available. But use whatever weapons you want. So I'm going with the auto cannons. And as you can see, I went with the KE-31As. I have stuck those here. Of course, you can put any weapons anywhere you want. Then, for the missiles, I stuck those on either side of that cowling there. And then, I did the two lasers here. Uh, of course, you can use whatever weapon you want and as you can see there are a lot of places to put weapons so whatever you think looks best and I wanted to show there are weapon mounts below as well so plenty of places to put weapons all right, basically that's it. That's the little boat. Like I say, it's pretty fast. It uh, 
has a pretty good kick to it, especially with those missiles. Alright, and thank you for joining me for the tutorial.